know y'all ain't heard my voice in a minute. I want to get straight to the point in this video. This nigga I never be in 1080p, bro. Um, I just been on spiritual. We so, know, we know this what. This is a hope. very important video. This shit happened today. You mad, Lee? You lucky you the gangy? Happened today. Nigga. And I want to get straight to the point. It's I'm only the tenth. In a minute, but this first. shit came out yesterday, nigga. Stop being a content fiend. Feel me? First thing first was just good. Wait, a, wait a day for you, nigga. Young boy. You saw that nigga Suki a scammer? What you mean? Babe, give me Amen. a piece of cake. So listen, do we so in the I'm gonna boom you, my nigga. Guys, sir. pussy. So don't own no gun. For some of y'all that don't know. This nigga's really in the Matrix. Wait, did he have this before? I've never noticed this. Did he have this before? This nigga is in the Matrix. I just recently made a Patreon. I had to, I shouted it out on my spiritual channel. I haven't talked to y'all about it over here on Soul Illuminati. I basically made a Patreon so y'all would never have to wait two, three months for me to ever post again. I'm also going to be live streaming on there. I don't get it. I already talked about all this. You always had one that? One of the tiers that I have on my Patreon, you can do one-on-one -on -one meetings with me. What the you fuck? You can do a one-on-one -on -one video with, meeting with me once or twice a month, depending on your situation, depending on if you... How much is this shit? Not. Should I do a one-on-one -on -one, on -one with Soluminati? The niggas who fiend for streams are not here is weirdos, bruh. Should I do a one-on-one -on -one with Soluminati? I'm not looking for no fucking friends. You can't pay me to be my fucking friend, buddy. You get no money in the world you can give me for me to be cool with you. It's not possible. So the whole one-on-one -on -one meeting purpose is to help people. Patreon's the only place I'll be so live streaming. What the fuck? This is tier four, right? Shit costs five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars to do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, people. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> Bro, what the f spiritual soul and soul Illuminati level four, limited spots available. Virtual meeting one on one with me monthly. <sighs> bro, this nigga is taxing, bro. Never in my life would I do this. And on top of that, you can't trust creators, nigga. That do not trust niggas who do this. Not saying he's gonna scam, but that's just most likely what it is. Nigga, two months from now, you're going to hear a nigga saying, Yeah, I didn't get my meeting from Cell. Watch. That's just how it always goes, bro. Can't believe this nigga said 500 to talk to him. I mean, fuck it. If that's how much he feels like he's worth, I don't blame him. Get your bag, King. People all around the world want to fly to talk to me. People want to do this. People want to do that. All you got to do is go to Patreon, right? So, it's this one particular young guy who's going to see this video. He blocked me. <laughs> Which is why I'm dropping this vid. I, listen, I don't know your name. I don't know your mama name. It's this one particular guy who paid for a tier four. So I there we go. We already got the scam and shit going. What the fuck? Doing a one on one meeting with him, but he hit me up and he said all he wanted is a birthday shout out because I also did a birthday shout out for one of my tier fours too. And I told him like, man, let's link with a one on one meeting so I could chop it up with you for your birthday. I could be like, dude, get your money's worth. You just paid five hundred dollars just for me to shout you. A birthday shout out. So I'm telling him, let's get, you know, put your little fears to the side, little nigga. Let's. Okay. Yeah, them. I feel like that's real nigga shit. Like, damn, $500. I feel like I'm scamming, nigga. Let me at least say what up to you. I feel him. Wait, let me chop it up with you. I'm trying to show him some. This nigga's actually about it. Yeah, you know I know. You know what I'm saying? So he put his. Why do you think the they side, put the prices up there? I had sent him the Zoom link. Everything was perfect. I was, it was, it's, it's, all of this shit literally just happened like an hour ago. Literally. What time is it? It's 10 20 a.m. right now. All this shit happened like around 8.40 something, like 9 o'clock. Okay, so I feel you. So you getting out ahead of it. You don't want niggas to make stories about you. You don't talk about it first. I feel you. I feel you. So look, basically, I sent him the link. Okay. So we get, ended up getting a Zoom meeting. And I guess like when you, dude, the, fir the first thing I noticed, he told me he was 16 years old, but he looked at way older. He okay. was 16 years old. Nigga was smoking a cigarette and he was with another guy. <laughs> Ziggy is crazy. Birthday. And I'm re I could read energy, so I'm asking him, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, mm -hmm. I'm asking him, what's bothering you and stuff, you know? Because I'm, I'm, we, obviously we kicking it, and he asking me these questions. He talking about how much he love my YouTube channel, how much he been watching my spiritual vids, okay. how much I changed his life and this and that. But this me, I'm changed his life, and this nigga smoking a cig on his 16th birthday. In his energy, it's what? his birthday. The nigga look depressed. 
and you 16 years old smoking a cigarette, something not ass. And you 16 years old spending $500 on Soul Lunati. That's also crazy. What the fuck have you been through in life? Right? Yeah. Okay. So as we got to talking, I told him, like, dude, we can only be on here for about, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I told him I got a limit. And I told him I'm still going to shout your, your, uh, give you a birthday shout out. But I, I, I told him straight up. If it's is it, if it's anything you want to get off your chest or me to help you with, tell me right now. Yeah. Because once I'm gone, I'm gone. Okay. You get what I mean? Dude, straight up, put his pride to the side, and he kind of got a little emotional. Yeah. And he about to tell his business. A young year old who was he had this like tough image on. He was smoking a cigarette. His nigga was right there. He kind of got a little emotional. Dude told me he been suicidal. This is no joke. He okay. told me he been suicidal for Damn, the past chat. four years. Damn. Right. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta be strong. I, I, bro, I was about to say something mad and sensitive, but feel me. You really gotta be strong. He's strong as fuck for not doing it. Feel me. You can't be that. You can't be suicidal for four years, bro, and not do it. And you gotta be, or is that weak because you're scared to do it? Now he's strong because he's fighting the urge. Feel me? Yeah, for four years, that's kind of crazy, bro. Have y'all ever depressed for like y'all going? Feel me? Uh, commit neck rope and all that. Just hit my DM. Feel me? We could chop it up and shit like that. Hopefully it help. Hopefully. <sighs> the fuck? He told me he'd been suicidal for the past four years. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? He told me he'd been suicidal for the past four years. Right? Okay, but what was this about? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> He told me he'd been suicidal for the past four years. Uh huh. And one of the things I told him when he told me that, I told him, you don't have to feel like embarrassed or something to tell me this because I help people with this shit on a regular basis. Yeah. Emails, etc. That's my whole point of making a Patreon is to help you. I'm, and I told him, like, I could tell something is bothering you. And he did not. Bro, it took me like 10 minutes for this nigga to literally open up and tell me what, why he was suicidal. 10 minutes is not bad. 10 minutes is not bad. You, you don't even know you, nigga. That's actually pretty so fast as fuck. I want y'all to hear this real quick. I'm about to get straight to the core of what he told me. Uh-huh. He said when he was in the seventh grade, he's been suicidal since the seventh, eighth grade. He is now 16 years old. He said he dropped out of middle school. When he was in the seventh grade, he ended up having a situation with a couple guys at his school. Uh-huh. Now, it turns out his mom has an OnlyFans. His mom had him when she was 15 years old. Damn. 15 years later, I guess she was like, what, 20 some, 29, 30? She made an yeah. OnlyFans. He was in the seventh grade. Four years right? ago, she made an OnlyFans? Damn, she been on it. So, I want y'all to do the age difference. Right now, he's 16. I think his mama probably like 31, 32. No the lie. Most. Yeah. I don't really know, but you can do the math yourself. He 32 said the most. In the seventh grade, his mom made an OnlyFans. Now, y'all got to understand, they living in a social media age. Now, he said he already suffered from like, Porn stuff like he been watching porn since he was little, etc. Yeah, and he also said his mom and his dad split up for some reason, but he didn't really know till now. Mm -hmm. He basically said he found out that his mom was like doing that type shit by him watching, and watching porn and coming across his mom. He said this is how he found out. Now this shit is weird. He even told me he built some type of fetish with just checking on his mom content to see. Bro, that's so... I'm not going to even judge that nigga, bro. I'm not going to even judge that nigga, bro. Bro, I probably see what my mom posted on that bitch, too. What the fuck? Be has. Bro, that's crazy, like... Bro, I really feel bad for y'all little niggas, because y'all look... Y'all mom's just, like, feel me, one year older than y'all. And then it's social media, so now she got OnlyFans. Now she's a stripper. She a bartender. She doing all this. All your friends follow her, bro. Just like, damn... Like, bro, back in the day, if your mom was, like, fire, niggas would always be like, yo, I'm gonna fuck your mom. I mean, niggas would just be mad, disrespectful. You really had to be on your P's and Q's. Now, imagine, they don't even, bro, imagine. <laughs> I don't think I said, yo, your mom sent me news because he paid $5. Like, that's fucked up. Like, this new age is crazy, bro. What she's doing. Now, imagine man, your man's having your mom's news for $5. I'm like, dude, like, damn. So... He basically told me in the seventh grade, it's these two guys that he never really got along with, but they was in the same class. He said they one of the guys moms? ended up finding out about his mom. Damn. Having like an OnlyFans. And, and then one of your bullies he found out? He found out because his mom and his dad split up. So his mom still used to take him to school, 
when he used to go into situations, sometimes she used to have to go in there like to get him and all type of shit. He said he was basically never wanted to really be in position to show his mom off to nobody because yeah. he was embarrassed by the shit she do online. Yeah. So he said this one particular time she ended up bringing him to school and she had to check him into school. And he said a few guys seen her. One of the particular guys was the dude that he didn't like. So he said one of these particular days, that's how he found out who his mom was, the guy. He said one of these. So he didn't even find out on his own. He found out through one of his fucking bullies finding his mom's videos. Nah, I can't lie. That's tough. 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 He ended up. That's tough. Try imagine your mom's like they gonna call that shit a crackhead, but you dead ass don't know. She kiss you good night every day. You don't know until one of your bullies tells you with proof and all that. That's fucked up. With the guy, they ended up getting into it because he said they used to basically massacre him and like dish. When he said, when he used the word massacre, I said, that's tough. He said they used to massacre and hold that shit against him. They used to always make jokes about it. They used to play her audio out loud of her moaning. Nah, I would have killed myself. <laughs> nah, I would have had to kill me or my mom in GTA, bro. What the fuck, bro? Somebody, know or them niggas, somebody was getting clipped, bro. Nah, he's strong as fuck for not doing nothing, bro. There's no way you play my mom's moaning audio in class and you, you stay in the line. <laughs> bro, y'all niggas is blue. <laughs> Like some kitty childish shit. Damn, that's and he said up. he used to at first he used to stomach all this shit in, but he said this one particular day he snapped. Right? Now Damn, remember, bro. only two boys knew. Nobody else knew. So this is what happened. He said one day they was teasing him, they was playing like the audio or like clips of you so mom dumb, and Gibby. shit. And he said they used to do this on a regular, not every day, but he said most of the time when they used to like get into it, tell jokes, they used to do this. So basically he said this one particular time he ended up snapping and he ended up beating the boy up. Like this is Finally. seventh grade. He said he ended up beating the boy Finally up. Finally knocked and that nigga knew up. About it. But the thing is, he ended up beating the guy up pretty bad. So the whole school ended up knowing why. Damn. He said they ended up Damn. finding out why he beat the boy up. Damn, it was a lose lose, bro. Lose lose. Now like, why did they fall? Why he beat his ass that bad? Oh, cause mom's got his mom's do prawn. So by him beating the boy up, the whole school knew his mama was a fucking thot. That's why he beat the boy up, because the boy was showing off porn shit. Now the whole school found out. Right? Now, so listen. Bro, you got to transfer, bro. This way. It, it don't even matter what school you go to. They still going to find out. Niggas is horny every It's It worse for this nigga. The whole school ended up finding out that his mama a hoe. Right? He still go to the school, and he ended up getting suspended. Guess who had to bring him back up to the school? No. Guess who had to bring him back up to so. the school to check him in? No. His, after <laughs> after his suspension, Damn, his dad. Bro. He said his dad left his mom because his mom was on that thought shit. He said now he know. So listen. Damn, bro. After he got off off of the suspension. What would you do from, if that was you, bro? I'm knocking niggas out, bro. There's nothing else I could do. The whole school's gonna laugh at me, but I'm still gonna knock niggas out, bro. For a few days, his mom had to bring him up to the school. The whole entire school knew who his mom was by then. Now, this, Does this his is mom look good, though? Age. This was four years ago. So, basically, they had the camera phones. They had the social media platforms, all that. Like, dude, you're fucked. Back then, if you missed a fight, you just missed it. You have to hear the Facts. stories. Now, it's always going to be online. Somebody recording. So, he's known for having a mom that's a porn star. Yeah. Right? So, his mom bring him up to the school. He told me it was like crowds of men praising his mom. And wow. deep down, I want to ask him, who the fuck is your mom? But how am I going to ask him? <laughs> like that, I, like, I'm interested, I got to figure bro. out a way to ask him. I'm interested as fuck, bro. I'm not seeing. This is why you got blocked, nigga. Why the fuck are you trying to ask him? That's not the position you in right now. You can ask that after the session, nigga. Like, so listen. He said it was a crowd of young niggas praising his mom. He said they was all like, oh my God, such and such and such and this and that and that and this. He said it was one of the most embarrassing moments in I mean, if they just praising her and not being disrespectful, like if I don't hear a nigga in the crowd say, damn, throat goat, <laughs> if I hear that in the crowd, bro, I'm booming the school, bro. I'm booming the whole school, bro. But if they just clapping at me, cheering, let me fuck it, bro. I I might be able to get through it. In his life. I might be able and to get through it. he said when he looked at his mom, his mom liked it. She was smiling and... Tension whore, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's the worst trait in a woman, bro, when they just... 
do anything for attention, bro. Do anything for likes, clout, real life attention, bro. I hate that shit, bro. Laughing. Like and his mom enjoyed that shit, bro. She just loved the validation and attention she was getting from kids. Yeah, and it wasn't even grown men, nigga. It was kids and like, what the fuck? This is what he said. He said his mom didn't care that he was getting teased and all that. His mom didn't look at it like a bad thing at all. And this, and this was gotta... four years ago? Bro, OF wasn't even popping four years ago. That means she got, she's a pioneer on that shit. Like, Understand, how many kids are suffering from this right now with their mom online getting fucked? Right? So he said his mom didn't care at all. He said he literally had to finish that whole entire school year out at that school skipping school his grades was fucked up and he said he was suicidal he said when the eighth grade came he completely stopped going to school when he used to just like go to his grandma house he said his grandma is not really stable etc he said his mama ended up almost getting locked up because he stopped going to school so they start reporting why your kid is not going to school etc this is dead not funny bro this is dead not funny basically in the eighth grade he ended up moving with his grandma his mama didn't have full custody over him no more or something because of his school situation. And his grandma is old, so she don't really keep an eye on him. Clearly, the nigga smoked cigarettes at 16. Yeah, not even so weed. Nigga smoking cigarettes. So he said in the eighth grade, he literally stopped going to school. And fast forward till right now, he said basically he has some type of program. They're trying to help him get like his GED or graduate. But it's not school. It's like some... Y'all know, like, the yeah, kids yeah. that be, like, extremely bad or that barely go to class. They always got, like, programs for them to, to like... Yeah, facts. Get their GD to get a job and all that shit, facts. I'm trying to find out who the mom is. Not even trying to be funny, bro. Bro, she, at the end of the day, Solo Mary still got blocked at the end of the conversation. After getting $500. So he had to say something about it, man. Make up for their grades and the, the classes that they missed. No, I don't think, actually, I don't think Soluminati would say it. Because, nigga, that he'll just, he'll be exactly like the motherfuckers in the story. Like, what the fuck? Job core, all this different stuff. This is yeah, what he job said he's in right now. Right? So, after him telling me this entire story about, smiling about everything that happened at his school, as far as his mom being a porn star, etc., I asked him straight up. I said, dude, who's your mom? Like, after he <laughs> came down and told me this. That's all I asked, bro. Your mom? But why was you smiling? That's all, that's all I said. No, why are you smiling, bro? Who's your mom? Like, dude, I'm not trying to look her up to Jack. I already probably jacked off to the bitch in the past. I'm not trying to do nothing. Who's that's your cat. mom? Why would you I smile? might just interrupt and tell her what she did. How she's affecting you. Right now, she's still doing that in her 30s. When I asked him who's his mom, he blocked me. The nigga don't exist on my Patreon no more. But bro, you gotta understand, he's traumatized, bro. You know how many times, you know how many times a motherfucker done asked him who's his mom, bro? You know how many times a nigga done asked that shit, and then you said it with a smirk? You can't, you saying it serious now, but at first you said it with a smirk, nigga. Like, that's fucked up. Hey. He's gone. I don't know what happened to him. And this video is for awareness purposes. I'm not making fun of him. I ain't saying no names. I don't even know who he is or his mom is. I just know he was suicidal and dropped out of school in middle school. Literally, he dropped out in the eighth grade. Stopped going to school because of his mom. His dad left him because of his mom. Now he lived with his grandma. His grandma too old to really keep an eye on him. Y'all know these grandmas, grandparents, they like bailouts for us. Especially niggas who's fucking up in school and bad. You could just always go to your grandma house. I can't imagine what the fuck he went through, but this is one of the worst stories I have ever heard. Nah, and that you is, have to understand right now. It really is, bro. Women, like, y'all have to understand, if your kid is at the age of eight and up, he knows that you're doing porn. Dude, the porn shit start at like 10, 11, before that. They know who you are. These young niggas bro, look at Bro, imagine you were just a horny little nigga and it's your time to get right, bro. You scrolling and see your mama, bro. Like, that is wild, bro. That is wild, bro. They don't know no when is better. RP they don't know coming back? Doing. Never. What's good, JoJo? Destroying they I can never play RP. They, they, this shit is destroying their confidence. This shit is... De Who's his mom? Path, <laughs> them to be like weak Who's his mom? JoJo, you still be on RP, bro? The bottom line, what I want to say in this video... You ever had some muckas? Out there, all have when to last time you had muckas? Most of y'all who sell y'all body, 
A nigga will never take you serious unless sex is involved. Other than that, you are completely useless. Jojo, you made an OnlyFans? Once men wake up and understand Be honest. that these bitches, these type hoes is not needed at all. Once these men start understanding, bro, when, if I'm not even having sex with this bitch, this bitch is completely useless to my life. Y'all need to really Nah, start they would never shit. understand that. Are you Most dumb? of these girls are just are you dumb? demons. They suck up as they Jezebel spirits. Y'all need to tap in. Yeah, with raps. Most of these women give zero fucks about anybody. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, person, you don't even have to be faithful to these jail. new type of women. Just do it in my TikTok. Let me see it. My man's was suicidal getting teased. They praising his mama for being a thot. His mama is smiling and feeling good from that attention she getting from little kids. This is Understand story, that majority bro. of these little kids. The nigga 16 years old and paid five. dollars Yeah, it was I'm good. Out who he get that money from. Little bit of drip. What the these fuck type of name is bread. I don't know where y'all be getting your money though. from, but they be subscribed. All right, this video done, bro. They be little. But story times, unheard story times that y'all gonna get on. I ain't gonna, that was a crazy story. That was a crazy story. Where's the TikTok? Where's the TikTok before we start? We got two more videos. Fuck. Oh, he's just long as hell. I have blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeped the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.